Welcome everyone. Compound ions are groups of atoms joined by covalent bonds that have an overall charge. NH2- is an example of a compound ion. In this video, I'll explain how to work out the shape and bond angle in the NH2- ion. It's an A-level chemistry exam question. Details are in the description. Let's get started. Here's the question. A dot and cross diagram will help to work out the number of lone pairs and bond pairs of electrons. Start by drawing each atom with a circle around it. The circle represents the outer electron shell of each atom. A covalent bond is shown where the circles overlap. Remember, a covalent bond is the electrostatic attraction between a shared pair of electrons and the nuclei of the bonded atoms. The dot and cross in the overlaps between the nitrogen and hydrogen atoms represents a covalent bond. The central nitrogen atom makes two covalent bonds, one to each hydrogen atom. We can use the periodic table to work out how many outer shell electrons each atom has. Each hydrogen atom has one outer shell electron. These are represented with crosses in this diagram. Nitrogen is in group 5. The five dots represent the outer electrons of the nitrogen atom. The one minus charge on the NH2- ion is due to an extra electron. The extra electron is now shown with a square. Square brackets are used to indicate that this is an ion, and the charge is shown at the top right. Let's think about the shapes of molecules. Methane, CH4, has four bond pairs of electrons and zero lone pairs of electrons around the central carbon atom. Bond pairs of electrons repel equally, creating a tetrahedral shape. The bonding electrons are between the carbon and hydrogen atoms in each bond. Each of the four bond angles is 109.5 degrees. The NH2- ion has two bond pairs and two lone pairs of electrons. The lone pairs of electrons are much closer to the nitrogen atom than the bonding pairs of electrons. They are only attracted towards the nucleus of the nitrogen atom. Lone pairs of electrons repel more than bond pairs. Each lone pair reduces the bond angle by about 2.5 degrees. The shape is drawn on the left here. The lobes above the nitrogen atom represent the lone pairs of electrons. To address the question, two bond pairs of electrons around the central atom, two lone pairs around the central atom, lone pairs repel more than bond pairs, the bond angle is 104.5 degrees. Thanks for watching. Please post in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. Take care and good luck with your studies.